Hello, and welcome to Sculpted by Jen. Today, I have a lower body workout for you using the preset workout bar. We're going to start with a warm up feet about shoulder width apart, roll your shoulders a few times back and forward. From here, hinge from hips, reach down towards toes, lift up into a flat back, reach back down to toes, and then round up bone by bone. Do that a few more times. So it's going to lengthen out through the hamstrings and glutes. Go ahead and start to activate that backside. And we can also stimulate the core with this move. So focus on pulling the belly button in and up while you stretch out along the backs of the legs. Let's go again, reach down, flat back, reach back to toes, and then round up bone by bone. All right, both hands onto hips, feet about just outside of shoulder width. Let's sit back into a half to three quarter squat. Just warming up the quads, the glutes, Focusing on form here. So chest up, core braced, knees behind toes. Next up, we'll start to activate the calf with a heel raise. So squat down, heel up, back down, and stand tall. Good. Squat, lift, squat, and rise. Squat, heel up, heel down, come up. Awesome. So we're going to do this 10 times, about five on each side. So you're about halfway there. Good. Should be last one right here. Next move, hands onto one hip, tuck the knee in, and let's circle through the hip. Bring the knee up, out, in, and down. Little tap down to the floor just to regain your balance with these hip circles. And let's bring it around the other direction. Good, just check in with the hip, any pain or discomfort. Just take notice of it and keep that in your back pocket, switch sides. So if you do feel pain or discomfort, you might want to discontinue from here on out, get that checked out. Because we want to try to avoid pain and discomfort within our workout. Let's bring those knee circles around the other way. Last one. All right, shake it out. Let's grab that smart bar. We're going to start out with a deadlift. So as you rise up, feet about hip width apart, shoulders rolled up, back and down, soft bend into the knees, hinge from hips, reach down towards the shins, and then rise back up. As you rise back up, light squeeze into the glutes. Keep the knees just lightly softened at the very top of the moves. We keep the work in the quadriceps, but we feel the squeeze in the backside. Notice as you hinge forward, flatness along the back. So lifting the tailbone up and back, keeping the crown of the head nice and tall and lifted. Hinging forward to protect the low back. Make sure you have your abs tucked in pulling your belly button in and up away from the waistband. Drive through your heels as you bring yourself up. Next move, clean and press the bar all the way up to the meaty part of the shoulders. Tuck your elbows in under the bar, feet move outside of your hips. And we're gonna sit back into our squat. Good. Knees just behind toes, moving down towards that 90-degree line. Keeping the abs tucked in. 
keeping the chest tall and proud. Good job. Starting to feel a bit warmer now as we progress into our workout. A few more reps of these squats. You're doing so great. Keep going. Next move, feet come out a little bit wider. I'm going to rotate so you can see this one. And we're going to take it to one side and then to the other. So we're going into a side lunge. Keep the chest up again, just going down to one side. As you bend the knee along that one knee, your other leg is straight. So we're just shifting the body over to that side, drive through the heel to come back up through center. Shift your body weight over to that side. You'll feel this one mostly into the quadricep, maybe a little bit into that outer glute. Drive through the heel to bring yourself back up and in through center. Go ahead and feel a nice stretch along the opposite inner thigh. Still keeping the bar, meaty part of the shoulders. Elbows kind of tucked in to lift along the chest. Let's move to the other side. Eight more, shifting over, coming back through center. Last three, two, and one. Next move, we're going to bring our foot up onto a platform going into a split squat. So once you have your balance and stability, you're going to sink down into a squat or lunge type move. Front knee again, staying behind toes, chest tall and proud. Drive through the front heel. Try to keep the hips square. And again, we have that core abdominal brace. Just a few more on this side. Switching legs. Other foot steps back on to your platform. It can be a stair, a step, a bench, a table, a couch, an ottoman. And knee comes down towards the floor. Good, so we're aiming to get that front thigh at about that 90 degree line, almost a parallel. But again, stopping at any point where we feel too much pain or strain into the muscle. So if you need to decrease your range of motion, go ahead and do that. And then you can always come back and do a little bit more as your body becomes more acclimated to the move. Almost there. Shake it out. All right, push that bar up and over, bringing it down to the front. We're going to go back into that split squat stance, but now we're going to do a one leg deadlift. So again, working on our stability and balance into that single leg move. As you come up, just like our first deadlift, you are squeezing your heel into the floor driving through the heel, flex into the glute as you bring the chest back over the hip line. Go ahead, keep the bar close to you as you come down. Almost there. Switch sides. All right, once you have your balance and stability, chest up tall, shoulders back, core braced, we hinge forward, keeping a flat back and then driving up through that front heel. 
Go ahead, let's go for eight more on this side. Reach down towards the shin, rise up strong and tall. Almost there. So good. This is moving towards the tail end of our sequence today. So just a few more moves. As you come out of that last one, we're going to do a plie type stance. Toes turn out, heels rise up and down. We're going to go for 20 of these. So lift up and release. All right, let's take a little break, go into the next 10, lift the heels up and down, lift and lower. Try to pause at the top. Almost there, four more, three, two, one. And let's take it down to the mat. All right, so here we're going to place the bar onto the thighs. Push the bar kind of away from you. Heels nice and close to hips, about mat distance apart. Squeeze up into your hip bridge and then release back down. Good. Drive the hips up towards the ceiling and release back down. So again, we're driving through the heels just like we did in our squat, in our one leg deadlift and into that one leg split squat. Really feeling the heat into the glutes, into the hamstrings. And this is your last move. So that pause at the top, really squeeze tight. Push the knees slightly out to the side to get more outer thigh and glute engagement. Good. Drive up, 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 up. And relax, legs come out, move that bar up and out of the way. And let's go into some stretches. Reach the arms up overhead and then slowly tuck one of your knees in towards you. Good, as you do, open it out to one side, getting along the inner thigh from knee to hip line. You can circle your ankle around here and then slowly bring the leg over to the other side of your mat, stretching across the outer glute, the outer thigh, outer obliques, switch sides. Good. Knee comes in towards you and then lean it out to the side, circle through the ankle. Good. Knee comes back in through center. Take it in the opposite direction. Try to keep that other shoulder down and onto the mat as you twist, feeling the stretch along the diagonal. As you rise up, both legs all the way up to the sky, reach for your toes, maybe your calves, or even backs of the thighs. Get that length, back of the knees, into the hamstrings, the glutes, maybe add some flexing and pointing into the toes. And then roll over onto one side, heel to hip, knees together, or pull the top knee back a little bit. Get a deeper stretch into the hip flexor and into the quadricep, that hip crease and top of thigh. Switch sides. Heel to hip, knees together, or slight separation as you slide that top knee back a little bit towards the back edge of the mat. As you release, come on up. Such a fantastic job. Thank you so much for joining me today.